61A Lecture Number 7 Announcements The HOG project is due tomorrow, one minute before midnight. You can submit the entire project today and earn an early submission bonus point. On OK, you can designate your partner before or after you submit. I recommend doing it right now. Just log on to okpi.org, select the assignment that you want to have a partner for, and then list your partner. That's how we know to give you both credit for one submission. After that, one of you can submit and you're both all set. If you need further instructions, please check Piazza. We'll give you some details there. Homework 2 is also due tomorrow. It's just two short questions. I think they're pretty straightforward if you've understood lecture, but lecture can be very confusing, so please give yourself enough time to finish those. Homework 3 will be posted today. It's due next Tuesday. I really think it's important to spend some time on that homework in order to prepare yourself for the upcoming midterm. Midterm 1 is on Thursday of next week. We hold it in the evening so that you have plenty of time to complete the exam and we can have everybody take it at once. Unfortunately, they gave us a very late time this semester, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. It's the earliest I could get. You'll receive a seat assignment so that you know where to go. We won't have class on Wednesday next week to give you back some time and make sure that you have time to prepare. Other details about the exam will be discussed next lecture. Today we start on recursion, which is traditionally one of the most challenging subjects to master in the course, but it's really interesting. So watch the lectures, see if you can get a handle on it, and make sure you go to lab and discussion over the next week in order to get some practice. And finally, you can come to extra lecture number two today. It's on decisions. This is a branch of artificial intelligence that tries to make optimal decisions under some information, especially in the context of games. We'll even look at the game of Hog and try to understand how to play Hog well from a mathematical point of view. The same techniques are used to play chess and Go and lots of other games. So if you're interested in how to build a program that plays games well, come to this extra lecture and you'll learn an interesting application of recursion.